Welcome to my session. Uh, I'm Joey Lee. Uh, I, today I want to share the uh, one talk is about the, uh, I try to um, to generate one uh, multi side kernel module. Um, currently the kernel kernel module uh, sign tool in the in the kernel uh, can be used to sign a kernel module, but uh, I'm not sure if it can support a multi side which means a multi signature uh, kernel module. So I try to look at it. Okay, uh, the first uh, the agenda is uh, I will uh, introduce the structure of kernel, kernel modules signature. <clears throat> Sorry. Then uh, because the uh, current, current uh, a major scale nature actually used the, the format of the CMS message. The name is a cryptographic message uh, syntax. So I will also uh, introduce the um, the in CMS message and also uh, try to use the open access to generate one CMS message memory. Then the third and after. I can use the OpenSSL to generate the CMS, then I would also use try to use the OpenSSL to sign to generate one uh, multi uh, one CMS mesh has the multiple signer. And for the let's try to resign a CMS, then conclusion and the QA. Okay, the first one is uh, I want to uh, simply introduce the, uh, the signature of the kernel module uh, about the, uh, the format and the structure. The kernel module signature verification be uh, introduced uh, since uh, 3.7. And uh, uh, when, when the installation, the kernel, uh, uh, the kernel Kernel call will uh, sign the kernel module and uh, also verify the signature when loading the module. That's right. <coughs> Sorry. So we can we can enable the function by the module under the SIG the config kernel config when building the kernel. And uh, since uh, 3.7, this function be introduced. At that moment, kernel use uh, uh, a specific structure for the, um, uh, the signature, but it's not standard. So uh, in the uh, 3.17, uh, uh, one uh, PKC seven pass uh, be introduced, uh, be merged to the kernel. So it also, it can also be enabled by the PKC7 underline message underline parser config when building the kernel. Then the, in the 4.7 kernel, <coughs> the format of the module signature be switched to the PKC, PKC7 and also the CMS message. Okay, uh, this uh, picture uh, shows the uh, the format of the uh, of a uh, uh, kernel module uh, signature. Okay, uh, this is one uh, KO file, and uh, the signature be attached. In the end of the uh, KO file, and uh, before the signature, of course, it's a uh, module data. It's a uh, it's a uh, we can say it's an uh, input con content for one signature, the original content. Then in the end of the the signature, uh, cannot define one uh, major string. It will be used to uh, to locate to indicate the the signature, and the. Uh, before the, the string, they have a one, a 12, the size uh, 12 bytes uh, structure. The name is a module on the last uh, signature. It, uh, it uh, 
be used to keep some information of the uh, the real real signature. Uh, currently, only two fields be used uh, for the pkc 7 cns message. The first one is the ID on the night type, it's uh, to indicate the type, signature type. And the, the, the another one is a signature length. Then um, before the, uh, the the 12 bytes structure, then it's a real uh, a signature uh, payload is here. Uh, can, uh, the, 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 the nearest kernel uses a CMS message. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Uh, so like I just mentioned uh, this uh, while well, this uh, uh, the structure is in the kernel source. Um, currently only uh, the ID and the night type and also the signature dance be used. Uh, for the CM, CMS format, because uh, uh, is uh, other field is only for the uh, all the uh, we just say the specific the uh, all the specific uh, major signature format, and uh, for the type they have three type uh, be uh, uh, really be supported by kernel. Uh, you can use the GPG signature or. Uh, GPG, uh, GPG uh, encryption and uh, also the the X S509 uh, uh, algorithm and also the PKC7 format. The I did not test a GPG before, so I am not sure if it really works. And uh, S509 is a, is a the old old format of the uh, major signature. The latest one is uh, the current kernel we use the the kernel we use uh, PKC seven. Okay, uh, let's uh, looking at uh, one example of the the real uh, signature of the module. Uh, as we just mentioned, uh, in the end of the the signature, uh, it's also. E the, the, the end of the kernel cable file. Uh, it, uh, there will one <coughs> will have one a major string be attached here. And uh, before the ma the major string, they have one uh, here. I use a blue color to indicate one say 12, 12 bytes structure. Is a uh, keep some uh, we can say the metadata of the real uh, signature. These are two. The two the, the, the value of two is uh, indicated is uh, the structure. Uh, the signature is a uh, PKC seven type, and uh, another important information is the length of a signature is a uh, one EA. Uh, this is a signature length one EA. So, uh, be, then before the uh, the twelve bytes, then we know that this uh, this is. This is the is the end of the real uh, signature. We uh, is the end of the CMS signature. So the signature end uh, uh, here the one zero B three one. Then also we can now we know the size and we know the end of the the the, the position. Then we we can we can calculate the the star the star byte. Here. Oh, yeah, here is the 10948 here. So, uh, this is the one uh, 3082. This is a, is a uh, one popular uh, ASM1 tech. Then, uh, it's indicate is a one universal constructor uh, sequence uh, uh, format. The plot and the and the follow the the thirteen. The number three zero, they have uh, another number is uh, A2, A2. A2 means uh, they have uh, two uh, subsequent uh, octet uh, followed by the, this type. And uh, uh, so this two zero one and the E6 is the indicated length of this uh, sequence. So um, the length the E1, uh, E6. Uh, one is six and uh, and then plus the four four byte four byte tag for 
is uh, match with our length of the second inch length. Okay. Uh, we just uh, so the uh, I I simply uh, introduce the CMS. It's uh, the spec is a uh, RFC five six five two, and uh, it be uh, it be the the spec be created uh, as I remember since uh, nineteen ninety one. It it uh, it uh, it uh, derived from the PKC seven V B one dot five is uh, all format. So uh, now almost it, we, we do not use it. And uh, CMS describes uh, an uh, in, in encapsulation a syntax for the uh, for data protection. And uh, it, it, it be generated using using the AS71 and also use the BER encoding. Uh, the open access are one dot one one dot zero dot only works. Uh, support the CMS. Uh, before this uh, version, uh, the OpenSS uh, support all the PKC 7 v V1.5 format. Okay, then uh, we know the CMS, then uh, we also know the kernel use the CMS, but uh, actually uh, CMS is uh, one uh, general uh, format. Uh, we can say is uh, one uh, uh, one structure can be can support many different content type. Uh, in the in the RFC spec, it already defined some uh, content type can be used in the uh, in the uh, in the CMS. Um, like the uh, uh, the normal data type and the one uh, and the side data, and also in 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 invert 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 data uh, content type. Uh, if we implement uh, uh, one uh, one application of the CMS, then it must uh, support the uh, uh, those three types. And of course, there have uh, other types uh, are options be defined in the CMS. Uh, I use a blue color here because the uh, kernel signature use the side data type so we will focus on this this type uh, open SSL uh, my content can use uh, can be used uh, to generate uh, this content type the side data type okay um let's uh, look at the, the detail of the CMS message uh, the format is like this um in the spec, uh, it, it call it uh, the the RFC spec called the message. Uh, the structure name is a content info. Actually, it uh, it has uh, it, it provide two uh, provide two uh, field. One is a content type. We just mentioned we choose the signed data, and of course, um, in other application, maybe use the other uh, content type like data or other. Uh, authenticate type and uh, so we focus on the con uh, side data type and it also named the content uh, I have the version of the side data and uh, uh, the version indicates some of it maybe uh, maybe show up or not is there have one tool in the RVC spec and uh, then uh, it, they have one collector. It uh, collect all the digest algorithm be used in the in the in the, in the uh, uh, signer info. Uh, because the uh, CMS supports uh, multiple signer info, so uh, if we have uh, multiple signer info, uh, which means uh, each signer info can use a different uh, digest algorithm. Those algorithms can be collected in the, should be uh, should be collected in the, this uh, collector of the digest algorithm in the sign data. Then uh, they have one, uh, one field, the name is the encapsulate content info. Uh, have two fields, one is uh, e-content type, and then another one is e-content. e-content is uh, uh, 
you know, one upstream field, I will, in, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will describe the detail in the later. Uh, it keep uh, the the original con input content of the digest, uh, and another one is the content type. Like the digest algorithm, it, uh, CMS can can also collect a certificate, and also the re uh, the revoke certificate list. The uh, CRLS uh, maybe we want to revoke some certificate. Those certificate cannot be used, then we can put it in the use collector. Those two fields are option. Then the most important is uh, um, the sign sign invoice is a uh, one another collector. It's a collector uh, many uh, actually one 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 or more than one the sign info. Uh, the sign info have uh, this structure its own structure like a version. And uh, sign identifier, sign identifier will be used to, uh, to to find out uh, which certificate can be used to verify this uh, this uh, the, the signature in this sign file, sign info. Then digest algorithm, then slide uh, attribute is also one option field. I will uh, describe it the, the detail later, and uh, signature algorithm. Uh, now normally we use RSA to encrypt our digest. So uh, normally he use RSA, then the real signature, then some unsigned attribute for application for using. Uh, this one, th this picture shows the, the CMS format. We will use this picture later. Okay, then. Uh, we know the uh, we know the the CMS format, and we also know the kernel uh, modules of the signature use the uh, package the CMS message. Then I want to try to uh, create create uh, I mean to generate a CMS message. The simple the simplest way to generate one CMS message for kernel module is using a uh, sign dash file tool uh, in the kernel source. But this tool in kernel for sign the uh, module file using a given key, and then it relies on the uh, open SSL. So after the one uh, open SSL one dot zero dot zero or newer, the sign file will generate a CMS message. Otherwise, you, you just use old PKC statement one dot five message. Uh, yeah. Then they have a two and only two. Uh, to use case can uh, you uh, the 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 way to use uh, this uh, tool. The first one is uh, just uh, simply sign one uh, kernel module. It just uh, give the uh, uh, the digest algorithm and the key, uh, the private key, and the, the certificate includes the private key and the module file, and it will generate one signed kernel module or attached on the old kernel module file. Another uh, function of this tool, it can be used to attach a raw signed signature on, uh, on the kernel module. I believe it also be used in the states because we use the uh, sign server to uh, to generate the signature, and we can use this function to attach the the raw signature, external signature, on the kernel file. So uh, use the as to attach one uh, signature block, uh, and also keep the the um, the digest algorithm, then the the public key. And the KO file and the, the explanation KO file. So this, this tool can be used to uh, generate a, an available uh, CMS message for our research. So uh, here is, is one example I just choose uh, is a WMI driver. Uh, you can use any driver for testing. and. Uh, the first one is very simple, just uh, use a sign file to, of course, you, you must give one unsigned 
uh, pair of file that give a, a digest algorithm, the, the key pair for ISA encryption, then the, 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 the original uh, input content, then it will generate one side uh, pair of file. Or it can also be used to only generate uh, uh, PKC7 uh, signature to uh, separate the file, but not the, the red attached arm cable file. So uh, I use uh, this function to uh, attach DB, DP to generate uh, one uh, uh, PKC7 CMS signature file, then is a, a P7S. So uh, we can also use the OpenSSL as a one pass to dump the P7S5. Okay, um, the, the, uh, I'm not sure, I hope the, 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 the font is not too small to, to you, the, um, the middle mean. So this, uh, this is one, uh, one available, one work, workable uh, CMS message be generated by assigned file tool. The first one is uh, we can see the content type is assigned data version and uh, the digest algorithm is a SHA-256. Uh, then the uh, encapture data, data content info, the, the content type is data, it's a, it's a normal data, which means that the, the, the input contains is normal data, not other things. Then, um, then it's the sign info. So sign info, the version is a one. Uh, one indicator is a, sorry. Okay, the, the one, the, the value one of the, the, the version is indicate the sign identifier is a issue, issue and the serial number. Actually, they have two different uh, indicator can be used to indicate the sign. Uh, it uh, change the, the logic of the finding the, the X509 decade. Um, so the, normally we use the issue at the serial number, uh, the, the, uh, list the identifier. If the certificate uh, has the subject is identified uh, extension. Uh, I, I'm not sure you can hear me uh, because I, uh, I saw the, I lost the connection here. Uh, I, I'm not sure connection is there. Yes, uh, okay. Joy, uh, I can hear, this is Giovanni, I can hear your voice again. Indeed, for a brief memo moment, you were uh, away. Okay, 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 cool, cool, thank you. Uh, I, I just saw that my connections uh, lost uh, a couple of minutes, uh, seconds. So. Okay, um, let's continue. So uh, there have a two different uh, uh, indicator can be used, uh, we just mentioned. So let's, uh, um, uh, interesting, uh, wait a moment, uh, I cannot. Oh, okay, I lost the I lost the the, the button for for control the to control my my slides. So. Joy, this happened yesterday to another presenter, and what yeah. this person did was to uh, exit and then re-enter, sort of to oh, reset really? the <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe uh, you want to try to. I don't know. Oh, I lost it. So, hmm, it's interesting. Oh, I am presenter. Why am I presenter right now? Oh. Oh, I I I I call the 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 control control panel back. I just I uh, minimize the I minimize my slide and uh, the reload my slide. Yeah. Do you have the button to advance? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I call it that. Okay. Okay, then uh, let's continue. So, uh, th there have two kind of the indicator can be used. Uh, the first one is just uh, issuer and the serial number. Yes, the another one is subject key identifier. We use the, the first one in this uh, example. Also, uh, the issuer is I just uh, give uh, one uh, dummy information for the certificate. And uh, here is the um, serial number. Uh, the the uh, application we say the, the the logic will use uh, those two uh, those two build to find out uh, which which is the case can be used to verify uh, the signature in this uh, the sign in for. Then um, the it's indicate this field indicate the digest algorithm as a char. 256 and uh, use the RSA algorithm to to uh, encrypt the, the digits, digits, digits. So finally, we, we see the signature. Yeah, we also know it's an uh, encrypted digest. Okay, then uh, then we generate a. Uh, 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 CMS message by sign file, and uh, I will I try to use the open SSL or sign command to generate a, a, a fully the same uh, signature for the kernel because I want to also use the open SSL command to generate a multi sign um, signature later. So I must make sure the single sign, single sign the CMS message is workable, is available for the kernel. So I looking at the sign file. Uh, it, it called uh, it called the open SSL API, and it give the the CMS function uh, CMS function uh, give some parameter, and those parameter can map into some option of the CMS CMS command of the open SSL. So I add uh, some command uh, option. In my uh, CMS sign comment here, and uh, I use this comment to generate one uh, CMS message, which is uh, is a uh, fully the same like uh, the sign file. And how how can I know it works? Uh, I also I I now I generate one external uh, signature. And uh, so I I I, I use the uh, side, the side file can also use the to attach on the uh, attach a, a external raw signature block on the KO file. So I use this function to attach my uh, my CMS message on a on a KO file. Then I test it on the kernel, and uh, there have two way to know uh, to to. To, to know the your your KO file it passed it, it passed the, the verification of the kernel. The first one is uh, I, I just uh, we can just uh, insert the kernel kernel uh, the KO file then the kernel uh, should be tired it, tired tired if the 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 the, 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 the kernel module does not pass the verification and uh, will show one um, one message in the, the message. Another way is uh, enable the lockdown mode. We can uh, the lockdown mode be uh, auto enabled on the state kernel when the security boot be enabled. But if you do not use a security boot, you can still enable the uh, lockdown mode manually. Manually, and by uh, use the integrity mode is uh, is enough to enable the uh, module verification. So then insert the your kernel module. If it failed, then you, you just see the operation not permit. 
And in this case, uh, I suggest so um, my CMS may CG be created by the open is available for a kernel, but it's a single sign. Single sign. Then uh, based on this uh, result, I then based on this result, I I want to extend my result to to generate one multi multi sign uh, CMS message, then use the kernel to load it. Okay. Um. It looks simple. I, I'm not sure at the beginning. I'm not sure it was, but uh, um, the the open SSO CMS sign command it allow the user to uh, to give it uh, multiple sign, which means it accept the it it accept the multiple private key for signing on one uh, one block. So in this here I. Use the uh, open the CMS side function and give it the two uh, two private key. Those two private key are are generated by uh, kernel auto generated by kernel. I just uh, rename it. Uh, you can all very simple to uh, just build kernel two times, and uh, the you can you will got to auto to uh, auto auto payload auto generated by kernel. If you don't want, you can also use OpenSSL to generate. But uh, I, I want, I just use this approach. So then it can generate one, uh, one KO plus CMS message. I got a good result. Uh, I use a side file to to attach this uh, multi signer CMS message, and uh, the kernel accept it. I take I test both on the two kernels. Uh, the, of course, the first one is. Uh, Use the, the 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 one key and the, the another one uses the second key. Both of them uh, can modify the the multi side kernel module. And I use a third kernel. It's a slate kernel. It's not self side kernel. And uh, it, the slate kernel reject my multi side kernel module. So it does, uh, the result is a, is a success. Sorry, I I switch to the next page, but it was slow to me. Um, okay. Um, um, so I skip one page. So it's a. I just want to show the the format of the CMS message. And uh, uh, the difference compare the compare compare with oh sorry oh sorry. Because it's a leg, so I press. The the CMS the multi sign CMS message include uh, true uh, sign info, and so I just want to show the the format like this. Uh, sign info true is a is the first, then the the zero number we can see, then the signature, and the other one is uh, just behind the. The, the first uh, sign in for sorry about it, uh, it will be late. Okay, then uh, th this one is a uh, uh, second, second, uh, second sign in for. So we uh, actually the first one. Um, the 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 later one will. Before the first one, so um, let's so we can see the two signature. Okay, then uh, looks um, the result is what I want. Uh, at least uh, the first step is uh, says I can generate one uh, multi sign, uh, which means uh, my, uh, the message the CMS has a multi uh, multi sign info. But the the, um, the problem is uh, uh, not problem. Um, another use case maybe. Um, we want to side uh, resign uh, a CMS message. In the last case, uh, the 
It means we, uh, when we sign one uh, kernel module, we must, uh, we should host multiple private keys, which means the signer must have uh, two private keys. Uh, but if, like, my, I'm the user, uh, I'm a community guy, or some, some guys, maybe customer, or some guys, I just want to uh, trust, uh, recite one uh, KO file from the open source or from the slash. And uh, of course, I, it is impossible. It's impossible. I have a private key from the source or slash. So, um, so the we we maybe need another approach to to guard uh, multi multi uh, multi side signature. Uh, which means we need to recite one uh, KO file. So um, the target is uh, the I found uh, the open SSL CMS recite command. It provides a recite command, but I'm not sure it works. So I I try to do the, the same thing. I use the uh, CMS side function to sign the KO file to guard one CMS binary, the block with the by the first side, first private key. And then I use the recite command to sign the the the, the CMS message by the second key. It can generate one uh, CMS message, but it failed. Uh, I I use the AS71 parser to look looking at the signature. I found the second signature is lost. It's uh, just empty. No, did, did not generate out. But it's not does not bug. Here. Just uh, open SSL did not write any warning message for, for this situation. Uh, it's not really bug. I I found. Uh, we can see the the second the signature is lost. The first one is here. And the other field uh, looks uh, normal. But, uh, and uh, so then I start to read the, the open this is a recite command, the main page of the recite command, and found some wording here, uh, some sentence. First, the uh, um, recite uh, message is a text and existing message and more, and one and more new sign. What it means? Uh, which means it uh, um, use the another sinus the, the sinus attribute to get to take the digest. So it's not the take the digest from the original content. Uh, I will introduce this approach later. Uh, it's a it's a legal in in the spec, but just the kernel does not accept it. So um, so which means uh, because of the 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 recite command of the uh, uh, open the CMS is uh, use uh, another another sign in force uh, sign attribute so uh, we cannot add the no attribute option we cannot use a no attribute option with the recite command this is what I found so then okay. But before I do the next step, I want to introduce the, uh, the message digest the calculation process of the CMS. Uh, at the beginning, I also confused about it. Um, I finally I found that they have some different way to, to take to get the, the, the digest. Is that only from the original uh, con input content? Um, the first one is a. Uh, uh, it's not first of all, it's not actually, it's an option, option, but, um, if the, uh, okay, thank you, uh, thanks, Michael, um, I think I am a faster. And, uh, they have a three, uh, three, three approach to get, to take the signature. The first, the first two is, uh, use the signed attribute, all the E content. E content is, a, we can say it's the original content just be attached in the CMS image. So you can image if the your original content is very big, then your CMS image will be will also be big. So it, um, it's uh, something in, impossible to use uh, in on the kernel module because uh, some kernel module quite big. So uh, we don't want to increase the size of the uh, CMS signature. So we so kernel module do not use the e content, and uh, the 
the side attribute is another approach. Uh, mm, it's a be used, uh, we just say, in the recite command in the uh, open SSL. It, the recite command recite the DER prop in the VR prop in the uh, in the in another side info. Uh, the, the, the side attribute uh, must uh, include the uh, uh, content type and the message type. The message type, is, uh, of course, is from the original content, from the input content. But it also includes a content type, uh, normally it's data. And then you can also include some other um, side attributes, uh, option like uh, the sign time or other things. Is, uh, uh, so the, the digest will always not, uh, it also change the, in a different sign time. Okay, then uh, back to the, this picture of the CM, CMS format. Uh, I just mentioned the e-contains option, then size attribute option, option because um, uh, we we skip those uh, field because we do not follow the approach. Uh, the main reason I think is uh, CMS message, we don't want the, the size of the CMS to be increased because we must attach it on the many uh, different uh, KO file. So the third approach is external signature. If we do not have a side attribute and do not have e comment, then we follow the, the third approach with the external attribute. Uh, it's a, uh, in the spec, we can, we can use a, a one external uh, block, a signature block to, to attach it on the CMS message. And, uh, but we still need to give it the, the, the content type, uh, no reason data. Just the data content, then uh, the digest will be calculated by application, which means uh, by uh, by outside, and uh, and uh, be sealed by the RSA algorithm, then attach it on the in the CMS. So uh, I now I know the why the no attribute cannot cannot be added, the option cannot add. So I do the testing again. Uh, to, after we remove the, the option, but it's a still fail. I'm not lucky. Uh, I can just still generate one a CMS message uh, and, uh, with the, the messages uh, I success. Uh, I, I got a true uh, signature and also, so here, here is a one bug, it's a, it's a, it's a open is a bug, it's the first try. So uh, uh, open is a did not generate the AUTH uh, attribute, the uh, content type. It's, uh, is a bug number and the page so so the other item is faster. So I upgrade the uh, open as a zero. Uh, sorry, uh, he indicated one uh, content HP, uh, content type is lost. So I upgrade the update the open as to one dot one dot g is a uh, is a current version in the tumble we and uh, then I do the test again. I I generate a a looks a health health is a is a available. CMS message, but it's still not accepted by the kernel. Uh, the, the, the reason is uh, in, the, in the kernel, the maintainer of the, uh, uh, of the uh, crypto, uh, David Howard's uh, at, at a constraint to copy that the authentication attribute be used for the signature. I don't know the reason I did not find any answer on the option email, but I think the, the, the the best reason is the size. Um, the, and the, the, another reason maybe that means we need to trust another side info. But as you will, kernel, kernel use the external signature approach. So we just uh, not accept this also the attribute approach here. So conclusion, yeah. Um, Okay, um, kernel can only work with uh, multiple external signature CMS message. Finally, we know that uh, we can use the open access or sign command to generate the multi-signed um, CMS message and attach on the kernel file. But the point is we need to have host multiple uh, private key, which means if the signer is not the same Guys, or in in not in, in is a different company or different community, then we cannot use the, this approach. 
and uh, the open as uh, uh, also is a um, uh, is a typo is a design design uh, is a other oh, yeah, yeah yeah it's a, what I say and the design is a we cannot support it in the kernel so it does not allow its approach. So finally, the latest page is uh, okay. The to do list first is a use case. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting. I have this idea because in the last year, the dev conference, uh, the customer one customer raised this idea to me. I'm not sure it was, so I tried it this time. Um, and not maybe some use case, if we can enable the design function, maybe it's in some use case it work. Right? For example, if I don't want to totally try and trust the one a key from another com community, like uh, uh, maybe I self sign my kernel, but I only want to try trust the one kernel module from the open source, but I don't want to enroll the open source key to a DB or an OK, and I can resign the the kernel module, only the only one kernel module, only one two. Well, not the kernel module I want to trust. Um, I, I'm not sure they have other use case, but um, maybe, um, yeah, uh, maybe, and uh, uh, maybe improve the sign file to 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 accept the multiple public key. Because you only accept the one public key, and maybe. We, we, we can find another way, maybe another tool, or in, increase, uh, in, improve the, 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 the side file to, to generate the, the multiple external signature for the reside. Because I did not see the, any process be defined, the reside process be defined in IFC spec. So I think um, it, 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 we can do that. Yeah. Okay, um, it's all my presentation of my topic sense everyone and uh, I think still have time for q and a I think maybe um, Michal uh, Kubacek you are muted There are two mute buttons. Okay, uh, sorry. There was a uh, there was a question in the chat by Giovanni about uh, an example where multiple signatures would be desirable, but that was already uh, answered by Scott Balling and Stefan Bellard. So maybe if you want to provide some uh, more examples or another example. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um... Uh, I, I did not catch you. I just uh, uh, what, what's the question? Sorry, uh, Joy. Sorry, this is Giovanni. Um, yeah. Thank. Thanks, Michal, for picking up the question. Uh, I see that you uh, put in your to do the finding use cases for this technology, and you have. Uh, we were discussing when is it useful to have two or three signatures in a in the same module use cases yeah um there was also an example of uh, for example mm -hmm. for solid driver drivers or yeah, sorry, sorry. I would say one example would be if uh, uh, one example. Well, oh, sorry, that was I have mistaken with something else. Sorry, forget. Okay, okay. Can I ask a quick question? One minute, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Joy, if you can repeat the difference between multiple signature and uh, re-signing. Uh, oh. What is the difference between uh, having multiple signature and signing again the module? Seems the same to me. Yes, um, I think the, for the CMS message, I think it uh, has no different. Uh, finally, we want to 
produce uh, one CMS message has a uh, multiple signature, multiple sign info. The 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 only difference is the uh, the the use case. Uh, uh, for if we use uh, open SLO to sign the to generate one CMS message, in currently currently we only I must host the, the two keys at the, at the same time. So so that's a difference. Uh, uh, which means um in in one company the guys must host all the private key at the same time when sign when generating the CMS message. I cannot uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, I I sign the one the message and the pass to the another colleague and the colleague another colleague also sign the CMS message. It it cannot. Is not, does, not, does not work currently. But if we can have one tool to generate a uh, multi, multi ex external signature of the in the C CMS format message, then we can do the resign, which means uh, I can sign the generate one CMS message and pass it to another guy. And our guy is a it depends on the guy if we he trust the the kernel module he can resign and then put another the put another um sign info to the to the original mm -hmm. messages thank you i understand thank you yeah.